okay to to start with these dates let me just change the name of this button let's change that to dates returned okay that's fine there. now let's move this here and just extend that a little bit here yeah, date returned and that is the so the next thing is maybe let's add one more component here let's move this down here and just add the label on yeah we'll add this here okay date overdue so date overdue will be where we have the how many days overdue the book learned is okay and if it's more than zero then there will be a fine here but first thing first let's let's uh, put together one or two lines of code to get these dates overdue let's get that sorted okay i will now double click on dates return now we double click on this and declare some variables there so we declare the following variables right here so the first dates due back date return and date overdue okay let's get the name of those other components so we get the name of these two components here one no not the number this one this very one that's uh, date due back and the other one might be date returned okay yeah that's it so we double click here and right underneath here enter the following lines of codes right there so the next thing is you see this one date over the is double we can always use integer but uh, let me just show you one or two things so let's say date overdue this very date overdue copy that equals open a bracket this date returned let's subtract it date returned subtract that from date due okay so we can then say dot that will be today right here total days yeah, that is the method total days so this very one now we will then assign it into this very one we will assign it into this one here so let's look for the name of that lbl overdue so double click there and right underneath here lbl overdue dot text equals let's say systems we like to convert that to string dot convert dot to string so what we are converting to string is and do that is this very date overdue so we copy paste that in there and enter a semicolon here so if we give that a try let's just give that a try so run it first okay now the program is running so let's come in here enter let's look for a book maybe any of these books so let's go for this till it made easy so let's look at it okay we might as well just enter the date okay today's date let's have today's date in there and right here let's say approximately is in the loan for that very book will be about maybe six days and here if you click on borrow it actually give you when the book is due back that's the date the book is due back supposing you end up returning this very book this following date let's go for maybe maybe six right there 2016 and when you click on date returned right there you see you actually return this book 37 days later as a result you deserve to be fined so this is where we will then work out the fine okay you see how that works guys
so that's working as we want now let's go back into the code the date return and uh, enter some lines of codes in there to make this file works all right so we're back here now and there's one thing here let me show you this you see this we can also use integer right now is double so if we if you want we can always change that to an integer so let me just change it to an integer and you see how it works as well in the case of double i think i prefer to use integer really and uh, we have an error because the double works for total this one works for total so i can always comment that out there and just enter double okay that works for double i will now copy this let's define one for we just define one for integer in the case of integer you only have to use day okay the method you use is day so that's for integer value and this is for double value so the choice is yours and just put this in there just to let you guys know how it works so that of integer value let's play around with that as well and you see how it works so we run it now okay so let's enter maybe five days in there borrowed that's the date you have to return the book and uh, the dates returned let's go for maybe 27 of 6 2000 and let's try 1 6 and see what will happen so we click on date returned that is 53 days too late so 53 days overdue you see the integer and the double works the same way but there is no way you can have like 53.1 days no you might as well round it up that's why i prefer to use integer so i'm going to stick to integer but uh, as you can see you can either use double okay you can either use double but if you use double you have to use this very method there okay if you use integer you have to use this method all right let's declare one or two variables to work out define so i will declare as follows these two variables there okay i think maybe i should set it for double or so yeah let's set it for double there and see if if it's not good enough we just change it to decimal place okay let's just enter the following lines of codes so what's happening in here is i've declared another variable okay whatever is inside lbl overdue is then assigned to overdue value overdue value is multiplied by fine and that's the rate of the fine now which is uh, i've changed that to 0 0.65 right there okay so multiply that by 0 0.65 and it's assigned to fine fine is then converted to string that's the right there is then assigned to this very component the late return form okay so one thing that is left is late return in late return fine is if i run it i think we need to try and convert it to maybe pound sign so let's do that and see let's run it so that you guys see that first let's say you're allowed to borrow the book for six days we click on borrow there and you then return this book let's say you return the book six days later okay and you click on date returned there all right you are six days late so you've been found three pounds 90 pence that's the late return find so let's go back now and just try to convert this into pound sign okay let's end this and go back into the 
coding area and double click on that right underneath here okay let's we can always get rid of this or comment it let's just delete it and enter as follows so these very lines of code right there this line of code will convert it into a pound sign and that will be all for this calculation anyway so all that is left now will be just the search just the search component here we just need to make this one work but then let's give this a try let's say we go for seven days okay so that's the date you meant to return your book and you end up returning it maybe on the 16th 2006 so date returned when you check that out you are actually owing six pounds and that will teach you a lesson so finally let's take care of this and we'll call it the end of this tutorial let's double click on this in the first place we need to populate this maybe um, I think there might be some other way out maybe if I can populate it by yeah using use this data bind item and just select the name of the table here and I only want to search by books yeah why not instead of writing more lines of codes so let's let's do it that way okay let's run it I'll run it now and see right there okay we can search yeah that's working so yeah that's fine so I don't see any reason why I should okay I might as well just stick to these alright so these ones they are of no use now let's see yeah let's get rid of these two components and just call it the end of this tutorial so I'm gonna click on these get rid of that you can always use that so those two components are gone so we're just gonna stick to this I already have this that previous method of uh, session in school management system so if you want to use that method you'll see there so with that I'm just gonna call it the end of this very long tutorial so let's just run it one more time and call it a day it's taking me a couple some days to complete all right so we can search using Tony or, or search with any of these okay French dictionary so now we we'll take about let's go for let's enter the date there we have the date in place and right here let's say we're borrowing that for about six days check that out and the date returned let's see 23rd of work that out yeah you 11 pounds out of pocket for now returning your book on time so with that fellows I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it thank you and have a nice day